Ooh, hydroelectric power. What is hydroelectric power? Hydroelectric power is energy from falling water. Now here's a short clip on how it works. One hundred and seventy thousand cubic meters of water flow past here every minute at almost 60 kilometers per hour. That's enough water to fill about 100,000 Olympic swimming pools every day. Standing here you can actually feel the power of the water. Harnessing that power is what hydroelectric stations have been designed to do for over a hundred years in Ontario. In essence they are factories that convert the energy of falling water into the flow of electrons or what is commonly called electricity, the electricity that powers the province. Most hydroelectric stations use either water diverted around the natural drop of a river, such as a waterfall or rapids, or a dam is built across a river to raise the water level and provide the drop needed to create a driving force. Water at the higher level is collected in the forebay. It flows through the plant intake into a pipe called a penstock, which carries it down to a turbine water wheel at the lower water level. The water pressure increases as it flows down the penstock. It is this pressure and flow that drives the turbine that is connected to the generator. Inside the generator is the rotor that is spun by the turbine. Large electromagnets are attached to the rotor located within coils of copper wire called a stator. As the generator rotor spins the magnets, a flow of electrons is created in the coils of the stator. This produces electricity that can be stepped up in voltage through the station transformers and sent across transmission lines. The falling water, having served its purpose, exits the generating station to the tail race, where it rejoins the main stream of the river to continue the cycle of creating clean, renewable energy for Ontario. The best example of hydroelectric power is the Hoover Dam. Built between the years 1931 and 1936 for $49 million, the Hoover Dam was the second largest dam in the United States. It is found on the border of Arizona and Nevada and generates over 2,080 megawatts a year, which is sent to Arizona and Nevada and parts of California to power everyday life. <laughs> Some advantages to hydroelectric power is that once the dam is built, the energy is virtually free and there's no waste or pollution. Electricity can be generated constantly and hydroelectric Hydroelectric stations can increase to full power very quickly, unlike other power stations. There are three major disadvantages associated with hydroelectric power. One, it's expensive to build. Two, water quality and quantity can be affected and hurt plant life. And number three, building the dam will flood large areas of sea, which will also end up hurting plant life. Hydroelectric power is a renewable energy source and has a promising future in our economy and life.